So in today's video, we will be comparing Windows against SteamOS to see what the best operating system is for a budget gaming PC. Now for those of you who haven't watched it yet, in my previous video, I did a budget IGP build consisting out of Horizon 3 4300 GE running on Windows without quite surprising results. But today we're going to see if we're going to better it. So for SteamOS installation, I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you're on the page, scroll down to installing SteamOS. At the very first point where it says download SteamOS image here, just click on that link. Download SteamOS deck image, click on read the terms and conditions and then download the link. So next up is Rufus, you're going to need software in order to flash that ISO image to a disk. The link also down in the description. So once everything is downloaded, you can open your file or folder where you stored it. Mine is just on my desktop. So once you open Rufus at the top, just choose your USB drive that you want to install it to. Disk or ISO image you can leave as is. Then at select, go to your file and folder. Mine again is on my desktop. Choose the image you want to flash to your drive. Once selected, don't worry about the other options. You can leave it as is. Just again, make sure that the drive you are installing to, the USB drive, there's nothing on it that you would want to lose. So click start and agree to both times. So now that we're finished, status is done. Close the window. So guys, once done, take your USB drive, go on over to your PC, and basically put it into any USB port that you can. And from there on, I'll go back to our screen capture and we can take the rest of the installation from there. So once you've inserted and started up your PC, hit that delete key or F2 whatever pertains to your system once in the BIOS look for an area that's called boot we will find boot priorities now the main thing here is to select your USB drive as boot priority number one so go into boot option one look for your particular USB drive mine is the Sanders Cruiser Blade 1.2 I'm going to choose partition one then go into exit and saving changes on exit and the PC will restart So once we started, you'll see, and uh, before we begin, do not worry if anything hangs for a second or two. Some of these steps takes time. So on first boot, you'll see that screen, welcome to OS, you'll see a bunch of files running. It will slightly change, you'll notice there's a failed section, but don't worry about that, I get it every time I can, and like here, this is sped up 10 times, so there's quite a wait, so don't stress about it. Just wait it out. You'll see the startup screen from SteamOS. So once at the desktop, you'll see a couple of options up top. Clear local user data, repair SteamOS, install terminals with repair tools, wipe device and install SteamOS. So that's the one we're going to choose. So go up there, double click. It'll give you this prompt. From here on you can read it, but just say proceed. So this is the section that will take time. So again, this is sped up 10 times. So there is sections where it's going to feel like it's hanging right here. Don't worry about it. You'll see the numbers change. There's two, two times when this happens. So just be patient and, and wait for a second or two, or a minute or two. This is the second part, and then it's done. Then you can proceed to reboot. You'll go back to this screen. Remember to remove your USB drive. The system will restart. SteamOS will load. It's a basic configuration where you choose your language, time zone, make sure you have an internet connection, and then just wait for the installation to be done. The system will restart again. Again, this is sped up by 10. SteamO is starting again. And there you have it, there's your login details. So just fill in your login details, with your account name and your password and sign in. Once signed in, it'll be like a normal SteamOS dashboard. So for settings on your Xbox remote, just press the Xbox button at the top. You can see general here, just to show you, I'll go down. So once you scroll down into system settings, you'll see we are on SteamOS Holo, version 3.7.13. It's the latest release. So from here, you can just press B to go back. So once at the main screen again, you can just press the Xbox button, but with the A key to bring up your quick settings. In the quick settings menu, you have options like audio, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, night mode, and so on. But we're not going to change that really, unless you want to change the audio. 
So going one down, this is the area that we're interested in. The performance overlay level, I normally choose two. If it doesn't show immediately, don't worry about it. Underneath that is, you can choose advanced view. Here you can set your frame limit, tearing, half rate shading, manual GPU clock settings, and so on. So pressing B, we can go back again. So just a quick one, by pressing your Xbox button again, you'll bring up the menu on the left hand side. You can go down to power, go down to switch to desktop mode. So desktop mode is more like a window interface. So once on desktop mode, you can go to the left hand corner at the bottom, like you normally do with start menu. All applications is applications that's already been installed on your system. You can go through them if you want to. For some more options, you can go to discover. It's almost like a Windows app store. So from here, you can choose different apps, anything from Firefox, VLC to anything you can think of. By clicking on it, it installs automatically. So from here, going back to Steam mode, you can just double click on return to game mode. So once into game mode, you can go into your Steam library. So once in your Steam library, you'll notice at the top, it says Steam is compatible, all games. There's a big difference between the two, but don't worry. Games like Grand Theft Auto that says it's not compatible still work the same with call of duty ghost that i played so when in doubt just try it see if it works if it doesn't it doesn't if it works so with all of that being said it's now time to get into some real world gaming and compare it to our windows system first up we have dirt rally 2 i must say the game was much more enjoyable much more playable no screen barely appeared we, although we got an average of 41 frames per second and six percent less than on windows the game ran pretty smooth with no stuttering. Next up on the Grand Theft Auto 5. The other difference was night and day, again no screen tearing, same presets as in the Windows testing environment. We moved up from 28 frames per second to an average of 37 frames per second. The game was much more playable and it gives us an increase of 32% on performance, which is a massive difference. On to Call of Duty Ghosts. Ghost was also much more playable, much more fluid, very smooth. Again at the same presets, low medium. We got an average of 34 frames per second, which is about 10% higher than in the Windows testing environment. Lastly, we are on to Cyberpunk 2077. This one I must, must say surprised me. At 900p, low preset, the same as our Windows environment. We got more than double our average frame rate with an increase of 140% from 37 frames per second down to 15 in the Windows testing environment. I must say, under Windows, I couldn't even get it to run in 1080p native. And I had to set it down to 900, thus I did the same here. And you can clearly see the results. So taking everything into account, is Steemo is a better option, maybe using less resources, I don't know, I'll still do some benchmarks in the future, but with that being said, that brings me to the end of today's video, leave your comments down below what do you think, if there's any games you would like me to try, and I'll see you in the next one.